Is this, this is working? Alright. Yeah. So, uh, hi. My name's, uh, Bajachi. I'm a level 69 mage here on Trollbane. This here is Jimmy. <laughs> He's my best known buddy in the whole world. <laughs> Man, we leveled together. We raided together. Jeez, even one time we... Um, never mind. Anyway, me and Jimmy, we were pretty pumped about the Burning Crusade. You know, you just got lots of new monsters. Okay, well, they're new skins of old monsters, whatever. Uh, new quests! Okay, well, the same quests, but, you know, better rewards. Okay, well, maybe they're not really better rewards. They're kind of the same armor skins, too. You're kind of lazy blizzard. But that's not the point. Burning Crusade, man, we got sweet new abilities, sweet new spells, and me and Jimmy were all over that. Well, you know, we were anyway. You see, me and Jimmy, we, we kind of had a falling out. When we hit level 64, you know, we headed out to Shathra City. Oh, that was the place. Portals to go to every town, NPCs for everything, man. Shathra was the new Iron Forge. It was the inn. It was a pretty cool place. But, uh, you know, we did this quest, and they told us we needed to pick, you know, between being an Aldor or being a Scryer. And man, like, it didn't make sense. We had already picked Alliance. That meant we were allies. Now they wanted us to pick different paths? You mean, I could be on the same team as a Horde? What? That doesn't make any sense. Naturally, I whipped up the ThoughtBot, looked up the rewards. Scryers had a freaking epic, epic mage ring. And hell yes, baby, I'm all over the Professor Plums. That's a clue reference to purple. Anyway, I told Jimmy, let's go Scryer. And he turns to me and he goes, dude, I want to be Aldor. And oh my freaking god, did I type WTF so fast. You have no idea. It was just like WTF, WTF. And Aldor, I said, all they got is a damn blue staff, Jimmy. Screw the blue staffs. We're going for the epics. Epics. But Jimmy, man, he wasn't taking any of my crap. No, dude. I want the blue staff. Did you see the goddamn stats? It, oh, it, look, it should be epic. All right? And, and that was it. Jimmy picked Aldor right on the spot. He didn't even wait. Just, bam, picked Aldor. And, you know, I went Scryer. Me, me and Jimmy, we used to be like brothers. That's like exalted reputation, but all the way up. So it's like slash 9999 exalted. So anyway, I picked Scryers and bam, me and Jimmy went from being best friends to hostile standings. Mmm. Jimmy said, you know, he was going to go do some, I don't know, outdoor quests with some of his outdoor crew. And I was just like, whatever, Jimmy. Hand. So, you know, I checked out the Scryer's place. They're pretty cool. There's a sweet elevator. There's giant robot guards. Come on, robots. Freaking blood elves. Anyway, you know, they, they were pretty cool. I went up to the innkeeper and he was like, do you want to bind up my house? And I'm like, bitch, I'm a mage. I can port to this city. I don't want to bind in your home. Anyway, the Scryer's were, you know, pretty cool. They had some quests I did, and it was good. But you know, the more quests I did, the outdoors started to hate me. And I was just like, what? That doesn't make any sense. And little did I know, but you know, me and Jimmy went from being, you know, exalted, to neutral, to hostile. And then to freaking hated. Damn! And then it happened. And one of the Blood Elf stews gave me this quest. He told me to go poison the Aldor victory party soup. And I was like, dude, I can't do that. Jimmy's an Aldor. That Blood Elf guy didn't even look at me. It was just like I accepted the quest and then he didn't want to tell me any more information. I thought bought it, I got the Lok, and people were, I was reading the ThoughtBot, they are like, Lok's are cheating, and I sent a message on ThoughtBot, I was like, SHUT UP! If you're on ThoughtBot, you're cheating anyway! So, you know, I thought, and then anyway, I looked at the Lok, and I went to the soup can, and I was like, damn, I can't do this. Jimmy's an Aldor. And I was standing right in front of the soup holding the poison, and bam, Jimmy caught me. And Jimmy just walks right up to me, and he was pissed. And Jimmy's just like, what the hell, man? Are you poisoning our soup? I caught the last bitch trying to do that. You know what I did? Shot a fireball in his face. And I was like, Jimmy, I wasn't going to do it. It was just a quest, man. Oh, just a quest, Jimmy says. He's like, just a quest? Yeah? Well, I slept with your goddamn mother. And I'm like, what the hell, Jimmy? Why'd you sleep with my mom? And he's like, duh, it was a quest. And I was like, dude, you did not have a quest to sleep with my mom. And he's like, yes, I did. Go ask Blizzard. So I did. I sent in a tick, and I was like, hey, um, is there an outdoor quest where the objective is to sleep with my mother? 
And sure enough, I had to wait like four hours because, you know, Blizzard response team is awesome. And then they're like, they, they get back to me and they're like, hi, this is Blizzard representative, blah, 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 role-playing crap, blah, 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 blah. And I was just like, whatever, just give me my damn answer. And they're like, and I had to wait five more minutes because apparently it takes them an hour to spell check whatever the hell they're saying. Anyway, they were like, please delete your WTF folder and disable all custom user face add-ons. And I'm like... Um, what does that have to do with anything? They're like, sir, could you please install World of Warcraft? And I'm like, dude, I just want to know if there's a quest. Have a nice day. By the light of a loon! Poof! And then the GM was gone. <laughs> Blizzard customer service. Anyway, some goddamn role players. I don't know. So it got pretty bad between me and Jimmy. You know, we kept pulling pranks on each other. I kept doing scryer quests that screwed over Aldor. And he kept doing Aldor quests that screwed over everybody. And... Just got bad, and then one day I went to the auction house, and I saw Jimmy had bid on a sweet mage staff. I didn't really want the mage staff, but you know, you make a ton of money in Burning Crusade, so you know what? I was just like, buy out, bam! Then I ran to my mailbox, I grabbed that staff, I ran back. Jimmy was still standing there, and I opened trade with him. And Jimmy was just like, what the hell, man? I had the bid on that, and it was on short. I don't, what? Why'd you do that? And I was just like, because you went outdoor, bitch. And then I took that staff, bam! Disenchanted it on the goddamn spot. Oh, Jimmy was pissed. He was just all like, I'm a charge in my fireball. And I'm like, don't do it, Jimmy. He's like, I'm a fire in my fireball. And I was like, bam, counterspell. And man, that counterspell pissed off Jimmy. Because Jimmy, he didn't inspect for improved counterspell. So he was just like, oh. And, and then he did it. He just plug pulled right on the spot. Just, he was there, disappeared. He just probably like kicked his computer over. I don't even know. And then I never saw him again. That was the last of Jimmy. A week later, you know, I sent his mom a tell in game. And I was like, hey, Mrs. Jimmy, um, where's Jimmy been at? And she sends me the triple dot. And I'm like, oh, shit. Don't be the triple dot. Ah, oh, triple dot. Always bad news. And slowly, you know, I had to wait. And then she, he said, she said, she said it. I can't believe she said it. She was just all like, he's playing EverQuest. Yeah, so as you can see, Burning Crusade broke up the friendship of me and my best friend. <laughs> Doesn't matter how much room cloth I donate towards his family. Jimmy ain't ever coming back. So m the moral of this story, kids, is you better damn well be careful about which faction you pick when you head up to Shathra at level 63, 62. It doesn't matter. You better be damn careful. Because EverQuest sucks.